Hey guys, Swifty here covering everything Chicago Bears. I dropped my Jatari Carter full breakdown video yesterday. Be sure to check that out if you missed it. Ryan Poles strikes again. He loves to sign players after dark. This time adding another piece to the interior of the defensive line. The Bears signed defensive tackle Mike Pennell. Mike is a massive nose tackle. It's six foot four, 330 pounds. He just turned 31 years old and has played with the Packers, Jets, Chiefs, and Falcons. Pennell is mostly a rotational piece at nose tackle at this point in his career. He was the second highest graded lineman on the Atlanta Falcons defensive line last season. That's per PFF. And he was also the New York Jets' most improved player back in 2018. He plays a position that doesn't garner much love in the box score. He is constantly facing double teams and doing the dirty work inside. He was a big rotational piece for the Chiefs in 2020. He played in 14 games and made one start. If you remember, the Chiefs won the Super Bowl that season and Ryan Poles was a part of the front office. So we should be pretty familiar with this guy. Nose tackle is arguably our weakest position on the depth chart as well. Iris Tonga currently sets atop the depth chart with Angelo Blackson being another guy who could get in some time at nose. So adding another guy who could play is crucial to our defensive line. This isn't a move that moves the needle too much, but it is another move that shows Poles really knows how to fill out the entire roster. I made a video on the depth chart back in early March and every position that I had listed as a weakness had gotten at least one addition except for nose tackle. So this move wasn't surprising to me at all. Most fans will overlook this, but let me tell you why this is so important. The biggest reason why this move was needed is Matt Eberflus. I have talked about it before, but on the defensive line, Loose plays guys in waves. He doesn't play anyone more than 60% of the snaps. He keeps his defensive line fresh and is constantly subbing different guys in to give the offensive line different looks. Quite simply, he wouldn't have been able to do that with only Tonga and Blackson at nose. He needed another quality nose tackle on the roster. Mike Pennell fills that need adequately. He isn't going to make a bunch of splash plays or be someone most fans ever even notice. He will provide solid depth and see time on the field this year though. He should help solidify our defense versus the run. He is very good in the run game and demands double teams. He only has two career sacks though and doesn't add much as a pass rusher. Another interesting note here, this move does not rule out the Bears revisiting Larry Ogunjobi. I honestly don't know if they will consider it or not, but I do want to point out my thoughts on this. Mike Pennell is a nose tackle. Larry O is a three technique. Also, Pennell has played for the veteran minimum for the last four years. Larry O is going to cost a good chunk of money. So even though I'm not sure if Poles has any plans to revisit Ogunjobi, I do know that this move doesn't affect it either way. Final thoughts. This is a solid interior depth signing and a guy who should be a part of the rotation as a backup nose tackle. The weirdest part of this whole deal was in order to make room for this signing, we released linebacker Jeremiah Atachu. The reason why it was so weird to me is because he just had a 10 minute press conference last week where he talked about how excited he was to play in this defense. Man, that feels bad. Just weird to see that they gave him that much press time and then let him go. Maybe they wanted other teams to see it. I'm not sure. It's just something you don't see too often. Ryan Poles continues to fill holes. That's the theme of the day, guys. I am Swifty. Be sure to hit that like button. And until next time, bear down.